The Guy Dawson Show is live at the World Center of Broadcast Media, WCOBM.com. And I'm always giving you a reminder about our message line. So, Patricia, there are people out there who uh, might be interested in learning more about body language, or they can send us an actual message oh, while awesome. they are watching live, and their name will come up, and you can answer their questions. So, if there is anyone out there yeah, who'd like to ask on. questions of Patricia, because this is, a, I think, is absolutely fascinating uh, to learn about body language, and many of you out there might also see it as fascinating, and don't hesitate to send her a message on the message. Board. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, please do. I would lo- the more participation, the better. So, th- so let's talk more about body language and um, how we can use that in our businesses too on negotiation it, body language goes past just reading you know we were talking about law enforcement but past looking for criminals body language is part of our everyday life and again if you think about the value of being able to tell when people are being honest with you it's huge is your spouse cheating on you are your children using drugs or hanging out with a crowd they maybe shouldn't be uh, where were they really till 1230 when they were supposed to be home at 10? Those type of pieces. I mean, what if your you know, elderly parent is in a nursing home? Are they being cared for well? Are they being treated well? Mm-hmm. Being able to read this is critical. So pairing body language with statement analysis mm-hmm. gives you all kinds of power and information to really make good decisions. Our people skeptical when you tell them that you know how to do this <laughs> and do they say you're lucky you don't know how can you know uh, by how I'm moving my body what I'm doing oh absolutely I, and a lot of people think it's like voodoo science or, <laughs> a, or that, uh, that I have some crystal ball and I can see into their souls and minds by looking at their hand gestures no that's not how it works at all body language is just a piece of information it's a clue but once you have multiple clues I hear the words that you're saying I show how I see how your body is positioned while you're doing it I see the gestures you're making I can do all of this it's the aggregate of all of these things I call it a cluster so no one individual piece doesn't need, but people challenge me all the time oh really what am I thinking well, I don't know. I, I, we are, I am not a, a magician. <laughs> right. I am not a, not a mind reader. I am not a mind reader. I do but not carry a crystal ball. scientific. There's an absolute science to There this. is neuroscience involved in it, and it's really fascinating. We, you know, we didn't we used to know. A lot of this started anecdotally. About 40 years ago, we started getting more and more information. We could read activity in the mind. We could see how the, the chemical and electrical charges were going through the brain. But now there's a machine called the fMRI machine, and we have such detailed information that it has given us the opened up doors that we might never otherwise have gone through. And it's moving us forward, moving our communication forward, moving our ability to connect with other human beings forward. It's a f- phenomenal piece of equipment. And the research that it has yielded is just mind boggling. And I'm sure the audience would like to learn more about what you saw. So Patricia was involved in the in the debates yesterday and that you I did was. analysis for uh, an NBC affiliate? I did, yes. Uh, they, we, well, I watched the debates live with the reporters at, uh, at NBC in Phoenix and we were fascinated to see many things that, well, as you may have, did you see the debates? I did. I okay. watched m- most of it. All right. So y- you may have noticed that there were some different characters that showed up than in the past. We saw some very subdued uh, candidates at the very beginning. Hillary, very calm, Donald Trump, kind of smooth and contained, and uh, I was a little concerned. I knew that they had been practicing. The reports had been huge on how much time they had spent practicing, not just their messaging, but also their body language for the debate. But as happens, you can only hide the truth of yourself for so long. I, this is going to shock you guy, I am not a natural blonde. (laughs) Yeah, I dye my hair all the time, but every six weeks, a black stripe comes right down the middle because you can hide who you are a little bit, Mm -hmm. but the truth of you always comes back in. So that's the same thing they did. They were polished, but they were leaking. What are, they had micro expressions, and that leaks their true feelings. It leaks their true intent. And so that's what we look for. So we see, body language experts see the same thing everyone else sees. We just look at it through a different lens. What did you see? Well, we did see a lot of practicing. Hillary Clinton did what we call parallel gestures a lot. And these are these gestures where you use both hands. Oh, this is very authoritative. It's a very... Uh, She's a very authoritative type of a presenter. She is. And Donald Trump is famous for doing them, but he was doing more asynchronous moves rather than these parallel gestures. He, in my opinion, seems to be easier to, uh, to provoke emotion in. Uh, yeah. And it also has a, a tendency to do 
the smirks and the snorts and the snarls and the eye rolls and move around, um, which is in, in my belief is that it's intended to discredit, um, discount the messages that Hillary Clinton is sharing and really to kind of steal some of the attention and power from her. Uh, particularly in the debate, we saw the second debate, that town hall debate, where there was a lot of walking about the stage. There were some you know, very intentional uh, moves there, in particularly to make her look less than uh, less than credible, less than believable. And uh, this, there's a concept called mirror neurons, emotional contagion. I try to make you feel what I'm feeling by making myself very expressive. And he has that big, huge, expressive face, mm -hmm. and he can show a lot of emotion through that face. And he, I feel that she actually has the more dominant personality of the two. And so maybe this is a way for him. I don't know. You're the expert. <laughs> but for me, I'm thinking that he's doing that to try to take some of the dominance naturally away that she has. Just her personality is more dominant. Well, I, I will say they both are very strong people. <laughs> they, yeah, they when, are, when someone's more dominant than Donald Trump, that's really dominant. Uh, but I think she is. There was, a, it, there was a quite a bit of aggression exchanged. But... Uh, when you see, we, in Hillary Clinton, when you, we see her get into situations where she doesn't, there's something she doesn't want to talk about, something that she doesn't want to address. She, I don't know if you noticed this, but she gets that big smile, this over-the-top big smile, and, and not, and she's not happy. <laughs> this is not a happy smile. You can and see that. Yes, we you can, can see that. We can tell that because it's not a natural smile. A real smile um, enacts the orbital muscles around our eyes. Your crow's feet. You get the a real smile. Your lips are up and cheeks are up, but you get the crow's feet. Uh, but you can fake it. There is a way to fake it. Reese Witherspoon is the master of it. But uh, but nor a real genuine smile will activate the the orbital muscles, and you'll get the crow's feet. If you don't see that, if somebody tells you, "Oh, guy, it's great to see you," I might ask them another follow up question <laughs> and see if I couldn't get so some more information. So they have people like you on their staffs, obviously. Oh yeah. To study mm -hmm. the candidate, they do. And so that they can be prepared to to implement the right, things that yes. you've been talking about. Both of them have full-time body language experts and full-time advisors on how to present their nonverbal messaging as well as how to uh, tie that to their actual messaging. We saw things like the AOK -okay sign, a lot of emblems. So these would be emblems or illustrators, something was this big. Uh, those type of things add emphasis. And when we see these emblems, because they're recognizable in a culture, if, we, if I can show you an emblem, and I'm going to be careful with my hand gestures, but uh, if I can show you an emblem that you instantly know what it means, we have connection. It builds rapport. So that's why we see this A-OK -okay with them a lot. Now, culturally, some cultures, this is not an OK gesture to make at all. But in America, it has an assumed and understood meaning that's positive. So if I want to make a point, when I want to be positive, I want my message listened to and received well, I might make a positive gesture. These yeah. are, how, are how emblems work. Oh, it looks like we might have a, a little comment there. Who lied more yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, isn't that? Okay, we all know. Let's see. Who else did? We all know there will be no, no winners in the selection. Who, well, all right. Well, who who lied? Well, who lied this the is, most? you know, this is, I, well, I'm, I, I tend to be kind of playful when I talk about body language, but there really isn't a bigger issue in our country right now than this presidential election. We are faced with an enormous choice, and who is going to be the leader of the free world? That's kind of a big deal. And we have two people who are very practiced at, at messaging, and I want to be cautious not to use too many adjectives there, but are very, very well prepared, good wordsmiths who very intentionally select words to perhaps mislead some of the audience members to believe one thing that without actually saying it. And some of these things like emblems, like gestures, like parallel moves, can help with that. Um, Donald Trump's very charismatic. As much as people you know, have their opinion about his his temper and his ethics, <laughs> he is very charismatic. He has many of the characteristics um, facially and with his emphasis that add charisma. And I, I think it's part of what draws people to him uh, magnetically, even in spite of the many other reasons that people may have to uh, not that you necessarily want to invite him over to dinner, but he could certainly be persuasive. Yeah, it's so wonderful to have you on. I'm looking forward to having you come back because I know we could talk so much <laughs> more yes, we will about this. And uh, Patricia Townsend is a body language expert and uh, 
uh, someone I've known for many years, yeah. and uh, I'm just really looking forward to having you come back and awesome. to share more cool. about this, and maybe I'll have some of the guest hostesses with me, and we can play a little bit of a body language we game here can. in the studio and learn more about one another. I would and love that. That would be excellent, because it's so fun to be actually in the moment and, and learn how to read. So, we'll, yeah, we'll absolutely cut Sign me up. I am definitely in, sir. Yeah, thank you so much right. for stopping by. My pleasure. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes with more of the Guy Dawson Show at WCOBM.com.